Dr. Amir Jamali. The title of this presentation is Femoral Acetabular Impingement, a cause of hip pain and arthritis of the hip joint. Hip Anatomy The hip is a ball and socket joint located deep within the thigh. If we distract the joint, we can see many of the important structures within it. These include the acetabular labrum, a soft tissue structure made from fibrocartilage, much like many of our other ligaments, that acts as a gasket holding the fluid within the joint. The acetabular cartilage, which makes up the weight-bearing portion of the socket. The femoral head cartilage, which is the matching smooth surface on the head of the femur and the neck of the femur. Normal range of motion of the hip is made up of flexion upward as well as rotation. The average person walks two to three million steps per year. Femoral acetabular impingement is defined as abnormal contact between the head and neck of the femur and the acetabulum during routine daily activities. There are two types of femoral acetabular impingement otherwise called FAI. These are CAM FAI and pincer FAI. CAM FAI occurs when the femoral head is enlarged on its outer edge. As a result, it does not fit into the socket. This causes injury to the acetabular cartilage as the hip bends upward. In CAM FAI, the hips may show elements of the bump in childhood. The bumps often get larger in adolescence and with increased activity, and impact sports. In this part of the animation, we can see the enlargement of the femoral head at the head-neck junction. The cam bump enters the joint and causes injury to the cartilage of the socket or acetabulum. Pincer FAI occurs from overgrowth of the hip socket edge. This can occur from activity or from a deep socket or abnormally oriented hip socket from birth. In this portion of the animation, we can see the enlargement and extension of the hip socket outward. In pincer FAI, the hip labrum is put at direct risk of impaction from an otherwise normal femoral neck. As the hip bends upward, we can see that the edge of the socket restricts the motion. The worst case scenario is having mixed type FAI, where there are elements of both CAM and pincer FAI. This would be the situation where there is a bump on the femoral head and where there is a deep socket. In this portion of the animation, we can see that both the edge of the femoral head is extended and the edge of the socket is extended, leading to a profound restriction of range of motion in mixed type FAI. Mixed type FAI makes up as many as 50% of cases. Both the socket edge and the femoral head and neck need to be addressed at surgery. This has been a review of the two types of femoral acetabular impingement, or FAI. CAM, where there is an enlarged femoral head, and pincer, where there is a deep or abnormally oriented socket. Thank you.